What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing Goku Universal Blue or Evolution Blue. It's got lots of different names. I drew v Vegeta with this because it's kind of his move more than Goku's. But we're going to draw it with Goku today. <clears throat> Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause, we go too fast. We start with face and we start with the Dragon Ball W in the middle of their frown. So you just go across with this sort of W shape to get you started. They're like that, right? And then you have ticks for the eyebrows coming out, right? So you go tick out here, kind of curves at the end, right? And then we'll thicken up this side. And then we will bring it down. And we get skinnier as we go down. That's the most important part. Okay, so we go out from the other side, tick, Don't have to be exact same. So we go up and then down. Come on down. There, right? Then the eyes, eye shape. So you have a small line there and then a longer line going diagonal there. And then we join them together. Like so, and then his iris, just a half circle underneath his eyebrow and pupil, same thing, just black, like that. Same on the other side, small line, longer line, and then we just join them together, like so. Iris and pupil, half circle, coming down, and then pupil, same. So, do, 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 do. Right, so then for his nose, kind of just left of, so the center is here, you just go left of center, and then we will hook a line out, and then it kind of goes V's back in, here, and then up the side like that. So you got this hook sort of thing going on, right? Then we had the shadow coming out from the bottom. So it's just normally we can see it coming out the side here. And then it just goes back into there. And that's like a shadow color inside there. Right, so then his mouth real close to the nose, right? You just draw a fairly flat line at first, right? So it comes across like so. And then it'll kind of curve down at the sides just to make them kind of look a bit grumpy. Right, like so. Right, and then we got a shadow sort of underneath his chin. Like that. And then the chin, just here, square, chin. And then we go diagonal this way. Jaw goes up the side of the face like that. Oh yeah, and his check mark lines, we nearly forgot. So he's got these check marks on the cheek, his cheek lines here. Like so. Right, and then the jaw goes up the side of the face here. And goes up the side of the face this way. Like so. <clears throat> right, so then he's got like hair spikes that come down across his face, right? So, you can see coming out from his hairline just here. Down across here. Down like so. And then this one comes down to there and up. Then we got some hair lines in there then the next one up like so it's 
hair spikes in here. I think we'll give him some frown lines kind of stuff here as well. <clears throat> right, so we have another sort of hair fringe area there. And then we can see his ears just inside here. Got a bigger one on this side. Ear lines then inside. And then the rest of the hair. So we can just see like the back of his neck. So his body's kind of turned away, right? And we can just see the hair at the back sticking out here from his neck, where his neck starts coming down from his ear. And Dragon Ball hair is kind of like a candle flame. It gets skinnier as it goes up, right? So you just have all these hair spikes at first. And then there's some that come across the front as well. So like this layer coming across the front of his head. Small ones here just at the back. Okay. And then we start going up towards the bigger ones now. You're always getting sort of, it like curves out and then curves into a point, right? To like this pointy big one. Like that, right? <clears throat> basic Goku hair um, and then you gotta add texture lines all over so you just kind of follow each hair spike like this adding wherever you think you know, needs some texture you don't have to add too much you know just one or two lines on each one would be enough Just following each shape. Well, I think that's enough for me. So now, anatomy, right? So the other side of his neck comes down here. So his head, body's kind of turned away, right? That's why the neck is different on each side. Center line for his chest will go this way, right? So that's the center line curving down that way, right? So his chest muscle goes over here and this one goes this way right and then we have some neck muscles that go into this point going that way neck muscle there there and then another muscle back here so his blue t-shirt comes around the chest nope and then it disappears under his orange kimono or gi, karate sort of thing. Whatever the karate uh, training gear is. Okay, and then his orange on this side comes all the way across his chest here. So this, uh, this shoulder is like wider than this. It's about twice the size, right? So the edge of his shoulder, say here, we'll do this one first. So we go... Just all these fold lines in his orange and blue section, and then a little bit of his shoulder just there, right? So from the edge of the shoulder to here, <clears throat> to the center line of his chest, this half of his body is half the size of this, okay? Because his body's turned away, right? So this side is bigger. That's the main thing to remember. Because his body's in three quarter pose, that's what it's called. So we have all these fold lines there for a sleeve, like that. And then his blue t-shirt comes out here. And the inside of that kind of bumps and waves. And then we can see his actual muscle shoulder there. And then the striations of muscles and then just his arm goes down off the pitch 
Okay, so the main thing to remember now is this side is twice the size of this side. So you can see three quarters of his body because that's turned away. So a quarter is missing. So you go one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. So that's half the size of this. Okay, might be tricky for some, but it's good to sort of learn these things as you go. You'll remember it the next time you have a go yourself. Okay, so, and then, of course, if you want, like, an or aura sort of thing, right? So, and it's kind of like a spiky aura, I think. Could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me anyway, in the picture I'm drawn from, so. And that's what we give him. Spiky-ish, anyway. And then it's like dark blue. Hair is sort of darker blue than standard Super Saiyan Blue. There you go. Goku Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.